Hey folks, welcome back. So, I'm going to finish off this game of Armageddon Empires, because it's been a while. Um, in the last episode, uh, if I remember right, we were... Yeah, we've got eyes on the uh, on the mechanoids... On the machine empire, sorry, on their home base. And they ain't got a lot here. Apart from all these thralls. These are very strong. Like I, However, you need a specific kind of build to be able to defeat them, right? Because you, if you turn up with like a couple of units... Are very you know very strong units it's gonna take a while to chew through them and they're gonna do a lot of damage to you so um, got to think about that a little bit uh, we've got this Imperial Recon that's sort of currently sat in stealth and just looking at what's going on here and we've got on honor Harris with two very very strong units here at the terminus in rocky desert in rock desert now this is a machine empire thing i think yeah so i think uh, that was right i remember taking that over now and this is i believe the last of the 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 free mutants this is uh, all they've got left that's about it uh we have the free mutants tribal keep here which we've got uh just weapons platoon garrisoning not the best unit garrisoning unit to be honest with you uh the trident submarine here has nothing here now i i, I probably should grab this uh, missile you can actually salvage this missile um, so I might grab that next turn when I've got some uh, action points anyway let's end the turn and see what happens let's go with three. Oh, it looks like none of us actually put any extra cards in okay I got the first round anyway that's good okay so let's get these guys moved first this is our first job Okay, we took it. So it looks like the enemy moved out now. Um, they've got a turn to try and take it back. Uh, they might come for the, the, you know, they might try to get this back. In which case, I don't know. Where do they go? That's what I want to know. Where do they go? Let's let's um let's grab this nuclear weapon while we've got the opportunity. So we're gonna just take that uh, hydrogen bomb. So we can actually drop this on the enemies on the enemy city in fact we might be able to just do that now <laughs> this would be a very very short video if i did though um yeah they are starting to build some more stuff up here yeah hydrogen bomb det detonates a 100 kiloton thermonuclear warhead that uh, affects an entire hex um so what we would do is we would we would bang this on here on one of these and then we would we would play it right so I think you need one, two, three. Yeah, we, we're in range. We could actually put this on this thing here. Now this is an air-to-air. -air. Um, it is an attack air stack. We can actually we can actually attack ground air, uh, ground stuff with this too. I'm interested to see. Like, let's see if we can let's attach this to the uh, JSF and see if we can actually get a, a hit in on. There we go. Detonate the city killer. Okay, they're going to try and just, they're going to try and shoot it down. Oh no! Oh, that sorry, that's them. <laughs> I'm being really dumb. So uh, yeah, we made it. They they got a terrible ra uh, terrible roll there. So here we go. Ground air to ground attack. <laughs> Look. Oh, it's the uh, it's the quote that the I forget his name now, but the guy who dropped the um, Hiroshima bomb said. Uh, it's the quote from the Bhagavad Gita, I think, uh, Vishnu. No, Shiva. Shiva says, I am death. Now, I am become death and destroyer of worlds. <laughs> that's really dark. <laughs> Imagine, it's a pretty dark game. There we go. All right, that, well, that's the end of the... <laughs> that's the end of the machines. <laughs> I think if we end the turn now, we'll probably find that we've won the game. Um, let's just see what happens. <laughs> I don't know why I find that so funny. <laughs> probably because it is. Um... Yeah, let's end the turn and see what happens. Okay, well, so we won. <laughs> and like, um, so my friend Imperialis, he's actually uh, currently doing um, a spate of videos as well on Armageddon Empires. I think he's he's kind of got the got bitten by the bug again. And um, I was kind of winding him up because he was he's like, ah, oh, you know, like I I've just finished this game and I won using the uh, you know using a w weapon of mass destruction. And I was like, ah, but have you really won if you do it like that? You know, you need to go back and do it. <laughs> without the nuke so he he dutifully went back and, and uh, replayed it and then won it without it and so he's gonna laugh seeing this because because <laughs> uh yeah like 
Didn't exactly live by my own rules, did I? All right, guys. <laughs> I think that's going to be the end of the episode. It's just... Um, I kind of could have done this on the last thing and just spared you all a five minute long episode but um, I really like this game I'm going to play it again I'm a little bit busy at the moment so I'm probably not going to play it for a little while but I'm going to direct you to Imperialis's channel um, I will put a link in the description if I remember to to his channel so that you can check it out because he's been putting out content on this game and yeah man it's a really good game more like it's so cheap and it's such a quick to play forex game but it's so I've, I've not even shown off half the stuff in this game, like not even a quarter of it. It's just really deep. So go ahead, go and buy this game, go and support um, Cryptic Comet, even though they're not around anymore, right? They, uh, the developer really, he, he, he knocked it out of the park with this game. It's such a beautiful game. And it's got a beautiful artwork in it. It's just, it's just a work of art this game is. And no, it doesn't need a remake. <laughs> like I hate remakes and I don't want them to remake this game I know that they're remaking Solium Infernum and like I'm just a bit like meh don't really care uh, like, no like no offense to the developer like I'm sure the developer are great and everything but I like these old games these are good enough games as they are Solium Infernum is a little bit like I don't know I guess it is a little bit difficult to play and I think it's hard to get a hold of so there is an argument for remaking that one but Armageddon Empires there is no excuse to remake this game it's perfectly good as it is Anyway, rant over, guys. I will catch you next time. Take it easy.